Hey, it's Kat here and today I'm going to be making a cotton swatch with my Centro knitting machine. I'm using this beautiful raspberry coloured cotton yarn that I got on Amazon which I'll link below and I'm so excited because if this goes well I could be making a top out of this. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to make sure the machine is on the panel setting. First of all I'm going to find my white egg which is just here. Then I'm going to count on three pegs and the reason I do this is because when you're in the panel setting the machine stops here and because this pegs up that's not going to catch your stitch so you need to go a couple more so I'm going to start on peg three then I'm going to wind the yarn around every other peg while moving my machine In that direction and I'm going to do about 20 stitches so we're going to stop on number 23 and where is my number 23 I'm going to make sure that the yarn is underneath this little marker here and then I can put the yarn through the tension gauge and really really carefully go back the other way My yarn is exactly the same colour as the machine, which doesn't really help. But I wanted to contrast it because I'm using it as waste yarn in my next project, which I will link here. Right, just need to really make sure it goes under every single peg. Right, so your machine actually just stopped there. And that's good because we don't want to do anything with it. We're going to just naturally where it stops we're going to then turn it start turning it the other way and it's going to miss these first two and the next one actually so your first hook will actually be hook three see there excellent now you can start to put your yarn into the tension gauge properly and I'm going to put it through the middle one just so it's not super tight just like that and then we're going to crank up and down the 20 rows carefully at first until we have about 30 rows in total when we get to 23 we just want to make sure that's underneath that marker before we go back on ourselves. otherwise you'll miss that peg 23 so there we go it goes underneath lovely and it's pulled nicely stops there again going to go back on ourselves so it's going to start with number three thank you number three there we go make sure you don't miss where you want to go back so that's just beyond 23 that marker there and make sure that pulls up down nicely. There we go. Now I've done about 30 rows, I'm going to cast this off using my knitting loom pick and crochet hook. I'm slip stitching each stitch into the next stitch until the end and it should all fall off nicely.
And here we have the finished swatch. I'm really pleased with how this looks. I will happily knit a top with this on the machine. It's really lightweight and breathable. And the best thing is it slides through the pegs easily. It's actually a little bit see-through, but not too much. You'll see in a second when I hold it up to the light. So here it is. It's so, so, so pretty. And I think it will be so nice for a vest. I absolutely love how this knits up and I'm so excited to make a vest with it. If you want to see the video where I make the vest with this yarn, I will see you in that video and I'll link it here.